I was heavily influenced by looking into nature and looking into biological role models that can then be abstracted into fabrication processes or it can be abstracted into robotic systems uh, that can then create objects. And one of the largest uh, inspirations for me were spiders. Partially what attracted me to the structures that spiders built is the materials that they use. So it's this very lightweight silk and we're trying to figure out what the first thread is or what is the sequence of operations that the spider performs. And beyond that, what fascinated me is how the spider, being such a tiny creature, builds structures that are much larger than itself. The scientific title of my work is Computational Tools uh, and Digital Fabrication Based on Multiple Mobile Machines for Filament Structures, which is an incredibly complicated title. I prefer to refer to it as building small robots, creating wacky structures and gallery spaces. Both my parents were architects, so I guess at some point uh, it was almost inevitable that I'm going to study architecture, but I was always fascinated with mechanical systems and making things uh, with my hands. And so at some point those two interests came together into building tools that are building architecture rather than designing the architecture itself. My aim is to create spaces that can change and adapt to the humans and the users that occupy the spaces. And I believe that using small robots that can safely operate within the same space as the humans occupy can really allow us to create this liquid architecture where the space changes depending on how we interact with it. As a PhD candidate at the ICD Stuttgart, uh, I'm very lucky to be involved in teaching for our master's program. I also lead master thesis students throughout their projects and advise them on the directions in which to take their work further. Maria has been teaching us about Arduino and Arduino basically being a software and hardware combination that makes learning about coding and programming more interactive and it allows you to bring life and kind of uh, this playfulness to devices. So that's been one of the key aspects that Maria's bringing to like the learning exercises and her, the way she's teaching. Most people coming to this program are thinking about architecture, but I think that it's not really limited to a specific application. To me though, it's really just about bringing an element of like life that we didn't know you could actually add to an object or a space. And so that's kind of the primary interest for me in this technology and application with design, architecture and art. Have robots advanced art? Um... That's a very good question. I do believe that robots, as much as other types of technology, be that 3D printing or CNC machining, have definitely opened up the new possibilities for the artists to both create new physical objects, but also to start thinking about the practices in different ways and approaching them from more of a digital standpoint. In the future, I would like to see robots of various types occupying more and more space. I felt that there was this gap where a lot of architects or designers have a bit of a fear of developing their own machines. But I strongly believe that if we really want to push the boundaries of what is possible, we need to start inventing our own machines and exploring what the robotics or the field of the robotics can do for us. Hyundai Motor. Connecting art and technology.